Hello, Mr. Kaczynski with you. We've been dealing with slope intercept form through a few videos now, and in this one we're going to write an equation given a graph. Here we go. <clears throat> so slope intercept form, reminder, is y equals mx plus b, where m, <clears throat> that number being multiplied by x, is our slope or our constant rate of change. And the b value there is our y-intercept, the value of y when x is 0. So the first thing that we're always going to look for is the y-intercept, okay, which right there is 90. So b equals 90. And then the second thing we're going to look for is the slope. So what we want to do is find another point on the graph, like this one right here, and then measure what kind of change there is in the graph. In this case, it goes down 30 and goes right 10 to get to that point. So that is our slope. We use that ratio of negative 30 over 10, which obviously we want to simplify to negative 3. And then we can write our equation. y equals, let's do a better equal sign there, y equals negative 3 times x plus 90 y equals mx plus b. All right, again, we'll do this five times. We got our y-intercept is 7. Then we have to identify the slope. So let's find another point on the line. I see this one right here. And then measure the change. The rise only goes up 1 over the run, the horizontal change, it goes to the right 5. So our slope is 1 fifth. So our equation, y equals 1 fifth x plus 7. y equals mx plus b. you got to find m, find b. Find the slope, find the y-intercept. So in this case, we have a negative y-intercept, negative 5. Find our slope. <clears throat> well, I mean, it goes through a bunch of these points here, so you choose any you want. Um, so it goes down 1, 2, 3, 4, and to the right 4. All right, so our y-intercept was negative 5, and our slope is negative 4 over 4, which is just negative 1. So down 1, right 1, down 1, right 1. That's a ratio of negative 1. So our equation, y equals negative 1, which we're not going to write the whole negative 1. We'll just write opposite of x minus 5. And also, we're not going to do plus negative 5. We'll just write minus 5 for negative y-intercepts. Let's do two more, and I think you'll have it down. y-intercept, negative 6. Slope. Uh, let's see, the next point I see that this line crosses is right there at 1, 1. So what's the change? Vertically, it goes from negative 6 to positive 1. That's an increase of 7. Horizontally, it goes from 0 to 1. That's a change of 1. So 7 over 1 is just 1. So our equation, y equals... Well, we're not going to even put 1. 1 times x. We don't need to put the 1 in front. <clears throat> oh, wait. It's not 1. It's 7. I'm sorry. So we definitely need that. Not sure why I said that. All right, so 7 times x minus 6. Last one. Y-intercept is negative 900. And maybe we just look all the way up here and we see that this goes up to 900. So we got a rise of 900. 
and a run of 900. So our slope is 900 divided by 900, which is just one. And our y-intercept was negative 900. So our equation is y equals one times x, but I'm not gonna bother putting that one in there because one times x is just x, minus 900. So there's our equation. y equals x minus 900. All right, so that's how you use slope-intercept form to write an equation given a graph. Graph, good luck.